Hello, today's tutorial will be discussing how to use Google Docs to upload, store, download, and share various file types across the cloud. I'm going to go through how to quickly upload a file, how you can download it, and also how you can share with others on the cloud from any internet accessible computer. So here I am in Google Docs, and to upload a file, you go over by the create button and there's a little icon that allows us to upload. To upload you click on it and I recommend using Google Chrome. Google Chrome tends to work better with the Google Apps products. Internet Explorer and Firefox function but not as well as Google Chrome. Primarily, especially with uploading files. Um, so I recommend using Google Chrome as your browser of preference here. So you can upload files or you can even upload a complete folder. For today, let's just select Upload Files. I clicked Upload Files and a window appears allowing me to select various files from my hard drive on my computer. I can select something within my documents or, in the case here, a audio file that happens to be on my hard drive. So I select the file and click Open. The next window that appears is options that Google provides us how we want to handle the upload. Now if it's a Word document or Excel document, Google will actually give you the option to convert the document into Google format. This is also true for PowerPoints. So if you upload a PowerPoint, a Word document, or Excel document, Google gives you the option to convert it automatically into a Google Doc format. Now you may not want to do this with a Word document if you want to retain the formatting of that Word document. So make sure if you're uploading a Word document that want you, re, you want to retain with its original formatting to deselect this. Um, you can also allow it to convert PDF into image files for Google, putting it into Google Documents. Um, one thing I leave checked here is to confirm settings for each upload. This allows me to verify that I'm uploading with the correct settings each time no matter what type of file I'm uploading. So I click the Start Upload and a box will show up and it will show you the progress of your file upload. Alright, now our file has been complete and uploaded to Google Docs and you can see it appear in your home folder. One thing that Google Docs provides us is one gigabyte worth of storage. Now this is only counted against you when you upload files that are not Google Doc format. It's a Google Doc formatted file. You can have as many as you would like. It doesn't count against your file storage space. So here we have a file called Sleepaway 3 I've uploaded. And I want to now, I'm at home, I want to download it to my home computer. So you can select the file and you have more options that show up across the top. The one I want to do is the more button and I get the option to download. I can click download and now it pops up a window ask and automatically starts downloading it here at the bottom. Another option I could use is maybe I want to share this with a student or another staff member. I select the box again and I can select share. I can either email as an attachment or I can click share and add that user's email address in here. And share with a the user. They can, I can give edit rights or just view rights if I'd like, and hit share. When I hit share here, Joe Middle School will receive an email saying I've shared that document with them. What's nice about this is you're able to move files from a public access computer, let's say a lab computer, up to the cloud, and then when you're either at home or on your staff computer again, you're able to download the file back onto your staff computer. Students can use the same technique for uploading files.